Are you thinking of investing? Join me and find out what are the benefits. Hello everyone, Roxanne here. Today I wanted to talk to you about the value of investing. Um, let's uh, consider the first scenario when you are renting. So if you are the tenant and you're renting the place, you're basically paying every month for somebody else's mortgage to get paid. And uh, the landlord can, um, can ask you to leave at any time if they want to move back in, if they, they want to sell the place or, or um, but you can't really make it your own, you can't really paint it the way you want it, you can't change anything that you want because it's not your place. And you're not really accumulating wealth because if the property va uh, value appreciates, then uh, the one that's going to see that benefit is the landlord, not the tenant. So, um, so that's the first uh, scenario if you're renting. Now let's uh, think about owning. So the next best thing is, okay, now um, you buy a place and you own it. And uh, I was actually meeting with, uh, with a gentleman who was in his uh, 70s the other day and he um, was disabled and had to move into a nursing home and he wanted me to look at the uh, house and value the house because he needed to sell the place in order to pay uh, for the cost of moving into a nursing home. But fortunately, he, he owned the house and he had all this equity that he could use um, in order to pay for his uh, nursing home expenses. The next best thing is uh, to build a house. I was actually uh, interviewing uh, for a listing uh, the other day with another gentleman who was also in his uh, 70s, I would guess, and uh, he was telling me that he was a builder, that he had um, gotten the land and then had built this house and in that process had uh, built a lot of equity and um, he had built a big house so in this case he wanted to sell that house and turn it into a multi-unit to basically uh, spread his risk a little bit um, and by that I mean um, that the big house had only one tenant so he had to um, he had to basically get that tenant to pay every month uh, in order to, for him to cover his mortgage. And his idea was, okay, rather than relying on one tenant and uh, having the risk of that one tenant be delinquent, uh, I can buy a multi-unit and that way I'm relying on multiple people to uh, pay uh, rent and therefore the risk gets less uh, for having to cover the mortgage every month. Now the best case scenario was to invest in real estate and uh, this came to me when I was meeting with another gentleman this past weekend and um, he was also in his uh, 70s I would guess and he was telling me how he had bought multiple properties uh, throughout the years and, um, and, and um, starting in the late 70s so now uh, almost 40 years later all his properties were paid off and in this case he was uh, he was here in San Diego wanted to sell all seven of uh, the properties that he has here in San Diego and move them move the money into the city that he has moved um, into now and buy property there and in the process he was telling me that he is uh, having an income of upwards of 60,000 a month just from owning all these real estate that are, that are now paid off. And got me thinking, um, that's what happens when you invest in something over time. The value of money keeps on appreciating and, and, and uh, you basically build wealth throughout the years. So if you are uh, having a little bit of money and you're thinking that, uh, that you should invest it, um, think of real estate because it's a great place to uh, put your money into and, and uh, just, uh, just uh, watch it grow over the years and then you can, uh, you know, in your retirement years you, you have the income to uh, retire, you have the um, uh, income to uh, pay for a child's uh, school or a wedding or any, any um, occasion that, that uh, comes up that you, um, you need to uh, have that discretionary income to use. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you find this uh, helpful, please leave a comment below or, uh, or let us know about any of the questions. And if you're thinking of buying or selling, remember we're here and we're ha always happy to help. Bye-bye.